lovelies, it's Kaya. Uh, I'm sorry if this is a bit echoey. This is a temporary setup because I'm not coming at you from the new house. But this is the bedroom and the bed isn't in here yet, nor is anything else, so it's still a wee bit low. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but uh, I'm here today with a glam bot haul, which I feel like I haven't done in a really long time. Which sucks because I love doing glam bot hauls. So I'm going to grab that. Throw it away. So I didn't get as much this time around as I have in some previous hauls. I'm sorry, my hair sucks today. I forgot to bring any of my hair anythings to the new house, including a hairbrush, because uh, we just ran down. But uh, yeah, I didn't get as much as I have gotten in some... Babe? As I've gotten in some previous hauls. Um, but I will... I kind of actually forget what I ordered. It's, I, I got... It took a while to get here, but... Argh! Well, that's convenient, because <laughs> we were decorating in here. Oh my god, what is the point in you? Yeah, we're doing this manually. Arrgh! We're through layer number one. Okay, about 100 years later, I am in. So the first little bundle here, I think, is mostly pencils. I got quite a few pencils for some reason or other. Uh, so I don't really remember which ones, so let's have a look. Okay, we'll start with this one in the pretty box. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this is in the colour Gunmetal. So let me just pop that open. This is what the pencil looked like. It has a little glam box seal. I'll do a little swatch now. Hold on. Can you see? Hopefully. Oh. So this is just a really, really pretty dark sort of, as it says, gunmetal, silvery, metallic eye pencil that's super pretty. I don't know whether I want to use this on my waterline or to do like some sort of base for eyeshadows or what I want to do with it. I just know I wanted it, so we have that one. Okay, I actually got three, apparently, of the Urban Decay <laughs> Glide On pencil, I don't even remember doing that. Uh, the next one I got is this nice green one, and that is in the shade Freak. And this is a super bright, like, lime green, again, it's very, like, shimmery and metallic. And that is that there, that is super pretty. That'll go really well with some looks that I have planned, and even, like, the one I wore in my, like, last big makeup haul. I'd like to work that into it somehow, because look at that! Oh, that's awesome! Matches my makeup today quite well, actually. <laughs> Next is this little mini one, and this is a blue one, and it's in the colour Radium. So let me just go ahead and swatch that. I just, I felt the need for more colourful eye pencils. And that is the pretty blue one in the shade Radium. These just, they go on like butter, seriously. They're so smooth. Like, Glide On is a very, like, appropriate name for these. So that's Gunmetal, Freak, and Radium. And next up I got a OCC lip pencil in the colour Lydia, which is like this. And let me just see how that is. This is actually a very, very different colour to what I thought it was going to be. And that's even with like googling swatches and stuff. I thought this was like a very purple colour, but it's actually more of like a burgundy, which is fine. I can always use more like dark red burgundy lip pencils. I don't even think I have one that dark, so that works. Cause I, I got a purple one, what I thought was a purple one, because I wanted to use it with my um, Kat Von D Coven lipstick. but. This is much too red for that, but it'll actually work with a lot of other lipsticks that I have that I don't have a dark enough lip pencil for, so it worked out anyway. <laughs> Next up, I got a Kat Von D lipstick, and this is actually in the white packaging. It's a studded kiss lipstick, but it's in the white packaging. I think that's because it's a limited edition one, and it's in the shade Gold Blooded. So I believe this is like a red with gold sort of shimmer, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Yep, yeah, that seems to be what it is. This is like brand new super super pretty let me try to that is just gorgeous oh my god i actually really like the white packaging especially with the red lipstick let me just swatch i almost don't want to swatch it because it's so perfect oh oh it goes on so smooth though yeah that's really pretty so that is just a gorgeous like bright red lipstick i don't even know if you can see the shimmer on here but it just has the littlest hint of like a sort of warm golden shimmer under there and it's super pretty. Definitely need to play around with this. I haven't worn any bright reds in such a long time. I used to wear them all the time. Recently, I don't know, I've kind of shied away from them. I tend to wear more like dark reds, so I think this will have to bring me back. But yeah, Glambot actually do have like loads of limited edition stuff going up all the time, so it's a really great place to grab things like that if you missed out on them when they were like, you know, up for sale properly. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't have this otherwise because I don't think this is being sold anymore, to my knowledge. 
but I'm not really <laughs> that sure. But yeah, as I said, loads of limited edition stuff goes up and it's great for that. You just have to be fast because like the next thing I'm going to show you, I, this is like a consolation for what I actually wanted because one of the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes came up and it popped up on the website and I was like, <gasps> so I put that in my basket. But then as I was adding one more thing to my basket, I went to check out and just as I went to purchase it, someone else snagged it right out of my basket. I was furious, like my boyfriend could tell you, I was there like seething furious at this person who had stolen my chocolate bar palette. So in the end, I ended up getting the Naked 3 palette, which I'll just try to unbubble wrap. Here we go, so this is the Naked 3 palette. They had all three Naked palettes, I think, or they might be more now, but they had Naked 1, 2, and 3, I know that much when I grabbed this, but I already have Naked 1, and like it's one of my favourite palettes. It's kind of been a little bit neglected since I got the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, but I still do really love it very much. Um, so I couldn't really decide between two and three, so in the end I just went for three because it has so many really pretty pinky shades, which I suppose is a bit daft because I don't really wear pinky shades that often, but I don't care, I wanted it anyway. So this one is a wee bit used, that's the thing with Glambot in case anyone doesn't know. Glambot is like sort of gently pre-owned makeup and stuff, it's all like heavily cleaned and like, you know, they go through some crazy process anyway to like sterilize it or whatever and make it like good for sale again. But um, with this one you can see some small signs of wear, but it's still mostly full. So that is what that looks like, it has all the colours. And yeah, so that'll be like really good for me. <laughs> you can see the camera and the reflection and my epically black room. <laughs> That's a light. But yeah, easily distracted, I'm sorry. But yeah, it has like a lot of sort of coppery tones, a lot of really pinky tones. So I, whenever I want to play around with like softer looks, this would be great. It's unfortunate timing because just as this has arrived, I clearly got more into my heavy makeup that I used to do a lot more often. But uh, the softer looks will come around again and then this will be here waiting for me. And it's great whenever I sort of have like these types of palettes, whenever I have to play normal and like try to act like a normal person. Like for instance, whenever we were applying for this house, I used my naked palette a lot with like, you know, the sort of more brownie tones and stuff. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to play around with this whenever the sort of mood for lighter looks strike me again. So yeah, that is everything I got in this glam bot haul. As I say, it wasn't a huge amount, but I just got a couple of things that I felt like I needed in my collection. As I say, I went a bit pencil mad. I was like, I need pencils. So I got a few of those, more than I even realized. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love the Kat Von D lipstick. I'm so excited to play with that. And uh, overall, I'm very happy again. I'm never disappointed by glam bot. So I think I should have a link in the description, and I believe that it gets you 30% off if you're a new customer. I think that's what it is. I don't have internet here, so I can't 100% check, but I'll write what it is in the description anyway. All the information's in the description. All the information is always in the description and no one ever pays attention and it drives me insane. So yeah, check, check the description. Um, and they'll have that there and you can get a discount and it's all great. But uh, yeah, so check out Glambot if you're wanting to get some sort of high-end makeup but you maybe don't want to spend, you know, buy it for full price or if you're looking for a snazzy limited edition stuff that you just can't get anymore it's a good thing to like have. I put like loads of stuff in my wish list and then if anything like comes back in stock you can try to like snag it really fast. <laughs> That's what I do. But um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, two really quick announcements. Um, first one is I will be doing a panel at the Northern Ireland Tattoo Convention. I believe it's at the Waterfront Hall this year. Uh, with my gaming channel, Metal Ass Gaming. So we're going to be doing a panel there and I think we're announcing the cosplay masquerade something or other. We're doing something like that at the Northern Ireland Tattoo Convention. Um, I'll put details for that as well in the description. So if you're in Northern Ireland and you're heading to that, then swing by and say hello to us, check us out. We'll hopefully have time to like meet people after we've done the panel and stuff and it'll be great fun. And I am also... I think definitely, probably definitely, I'm pretty sure it's being confirmed going to somewhere in the city this year. Uh, if that changes for any sort of crazy like reason, like a volcano or something. Um, I shouldn't joke about that. That won't stop my boyfriend coming to visit me when he used to live in Wales. Not even joking. <laughs> but yeah, um, I should be going to somewhere in the city this year, which is in London and it's in the summer. And again, I'll try to put... You can Google it. Google somewhere in the city 2016. You can find it. As more information becomes available, I will update you guys, but I should be going to that so you guys can come along and say hello because last year was super fun. Uh, yeah, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you think of my wallpaper. I am very much loving the wallpaper. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!